Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I have another project to share for you. This project was created for Graphic 45. I use the Graphic 45 large tag album. And I also used a couple of Spellbinders dies to create the flowers in this project. So I'm calling this my tag mini album carousel. <laughs> I have a little, I got this little candle holder from the dollar store and um, <clears throat> I put my tag pages on a circular tube that was from a roll of gift wrap and then this is a knob from actually a um, curtain rod. So I kind of put it all together and that's what I came up with. <laughs> so this, I'm letting this be my introduction uh, pocket page here. It says Tender Memories and that's one of the cut aparts from the design paper and this is the Once Upon a Springtime that Graphic 45 just re-released and I'm so thrilled because I love this paper collection. I added a doily here that I got from Julie the Paper Bag Lady. I have some flowers that I had on my stash, some flat back pearls, another little image that I fussy cut from the design paper. I added one of the Tim Holtz Brad jump rings and then this is a graphic 45 staple shabby sheet key and a little bling charm that I had in my stash. I did cut a little slit after I folded my card in half to create a little space for a little pocket and there's a little tag here with a little butterfly paper. I added some charms here this is a little looks like a little door to a fairy house that's what I'm telling myself it is. Another little bling charm and then another graphic 45 staple shabby sheet key. So that just goes back in here like this so that's the start of the carousel. It doesn't spin around. You have to just physically actually turn it. And so um, on the base here, I added some metal pieces just to cover up the candle holder part and added some little butterflies here that I punched out with a Martha Stewart punch. And then I made a little tulle skirt out of some glitter tulle and I did st stick some little sequins inside the tulle. So there's the back spot of the first introduction page and you can do some journaling on there. So each page is decorated pretty similarly. I have three different uh, design papers. I have um, some flat back pearls here and then I added a strappy chic graphic 45 staples keyhole and then these are the flowers that I created using the spellbinders dies and then again another I fussy cut one of the little stamps and then each one of these has um, I put some ribbon here at the top with some twine from May Arts, and the ribbon here is just from my stash. And then each one of these has a little tag. So you can put photos on both sides. And then again, you spin it around, and then on the back, of, and they are on hinges, so they do, do move. And then on the back of the tag, I did a fussy cut image, and added some bling inside the little flower that I die cut out. And here's the second one. This large metal piece in the back of the keyhole is one that's from uh, Butterbee Scraps. Again, another crochet doily from Julie the Paper Bag Lady. Punched out some leaves and fussy cut a stamp. And again, another tag inside. And the tags are all the same, they're plain. And you rotate it around. And there's the back side of this one. I fussy cut the little fairy image out from one of the cut aparts and put it on some dimensional foam tape. And then here's this page. Again, some more flat back pearls. This large metal piece again is from Butterbee Scraps. Some more die cut flowers from the paper collection. And then another fussy cut a little stamp. And then I did punch out some butterflies with the Martha Stewart butterfly punch. And then the tag is inside this one as well. And you rotate it around. And here's the back of this one. And again, another key plate. This is actually a Prima doily. And then some more flat back pearls, fussy cut image, and some more die cut flowers. And you spin it around. And there's the back of that one, another, die, another fussy cut fairy. And then over here again, another shabby chic key plate. I did put some little flat back pearls inside my, on my, uh, my gussets of the hinge. I get another doily, some flowers, and a stamp. And then you spin it around. And there's the back side of that one. Again, another 
metal flower layered on a doily with some die cut flowers and some more lace trim here and some flat back pearls and again they all have a little tag here that pulls out and then that's the back so we're back to the beginning so that's my little carousel once upon a springtime fairy tag album that I created using the re-released graphic 45 once upon a springtime paper collection love this paper there you have it thanks for watching bye